My sisters and I should be able to open a path to safety, but we'll need your help again to make this work. We can travel along the roots of the Weird Tree. That's how we were able to get here so quickly. But there's some kind of corruption in the soil, and now that path is blocked to us. The roots need to be nourished with pure energy. Nothing is more pure than life itself. We can use the life force of the creatures to nourish the roots of the Weird Tree. Kill one of the creatures near each root. Their life essences should provide the power we need to get the villagers out of here. Look for the roots of the Weird around the mill. Remember that those creatures must give up their lives near the roots, or the roots won't absorb their life essences. Any creature you kill away from a root is a life extinguished for no reason. The Weird Tree sustains us. From its roots, we draw strength. From its leaves, we find comfort. Its roots stretch through all of Nern, and thus its power touches everything. Isn't it obvious? The people of the City of Stone cause this. They have no regard for the natural world. Nature only bends so far before it begins to suffer. Then it reasserts itself. Nature always prevails. That's why the vines appeared. The vines. They started appearing weeks ago, bursting through the soil and spreading throughout Glenumbra. We've never seen such vines before, and even the weird tree was engulfed by the strange growths. Whatever's happening, no one is safe. able to get all the villagers through the portal. They're safe in our camp for now. I should return to our camp and help protect the villagers. My sisters will continue to look into the madness that occurred here. Perhaps you could help them, if you have an interest. You have earned my respect, Stone Dweller. Thanks. Speak to Helene. There are still questions that require answers. <laughs> <laughs> 